What up, world? It's your favorite homegirl, Gina Views. Welcome back to Whole Fashions, the home of unfiltered conversations. Today, I got a baddie in the building. South Central baddest. My girl, Nina, <laughs> pulled up on me. Hey, Nina. What's the deal, Nina? <laughs> What's you the deal? are one of my favorite on South Central baddies. Love you, love you, love you. Since, like, because you've been on two seasons, mm -hmm. the last season. And I remember you were so mad at this bodyguard for not letting you fight somebody. Yeah, I was pissed. <laughs> I was real pissed. You peeled out of your shirt. Yeah. Um, Titties out. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Before we get into South Central Baddies, though, I want to tap into you as a person. Who are you? Where were you before South Central Baddies? Um, I'm from Watts. Well, most people, everybody be watching stuff. Um, I'm from Watts, California. So um, I came from the east side, L.A. and okay. stuff. Um, at first, I don't know. I didn't I didn't find myself doing really too much or nothing. Um, my mom had died when I was 16. So oh, yeah. I was really just running the streets majority of my life. Like, mm -hmm. just, you know. You know, in the streets, yeah, yeah. doing what I was doing and stuff. And I don't know, hanging with the right people, I ended up doing what I was doing, led to jail and stuff like that. And when I got out, I just told myself I wanted something different. Mm -hmm. So then when I did go to college and stuff and becoming a nurse, you know, I let a boy, or I wouldn't even say a man, a boy take that, you know, from me and stuff and then i end up starting doing hair from the ground up and then i don't know i just end up getting on tv i end up having one fight <laughs> and it led to nothing and boom i end up being on tv you said you're from the east side how east side are you uh i'm east side east side like hacking watts east side like what school you went to i went to drew middle school okay okay mm -hmm. so you really side mm -hmm, really <laughs> <laughs> what um what middle school you went to drew like gompers That's oh drew. drew is mixed Nothing. Drew is right there. Um, you could say like Firestone. Okay. What high school? Um, I went to two different high schools. I went to Lock High School and I also right. went to Dominguez High School. Okay, okay, okay. Dominguez is a good school. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I went there first. I went there first. And then you went to college to do what? Uh, for medical assistant okay. and LVN. Okay. So you got your um, was your license in and stuff? Yeah. LVN? Then I got it took. Really? What? Yes. Um, this dude I was dating, we end up, you feel me, in the car one day. We got pulled over. I went to jail for his gun. And, girl. They can take it for that? I, I end up, girl, I did some stuff and I put it in my shit. Oh. Trying to take, you feel me. Oh, you making, was getting them scripts. Yeah, I was trying to, like, <laughs> I was trying to save him for a minute. You know, I was trying to save him. And I went to jail and he was supposed to be taking me to work. And I left my patient at home by herself for, oh. like, for a long time. So I got bailed out. So I got my license took. So So your job didn't even know that you was in jail? Mm-mm. Oh, I didn't have nobody God. number, no nothing whatsoever. Because I'm thinking he was going to take the charge. Like, you know, I'm going to put it in my purse. You know, we going to get this little ticket, drive yeah. off. No, they found this. So I'm thinking we got to the police station. I'm like, oh, okay. He going to take his gun charge. He did not. He did not. It was like pills or uh, sir? It was a gun. Oh, it was a, a, a burner? Yeah. Oh! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. okay. You took the case for it, dude. Mm -hmm. Got you. Okay. See, my mind going somewhere else. I'm thinking you was the the the, the dealer. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> the pharmaceutical dealer. No. Um, was the patient fine? The patient didn't pass away or nothing? No, nah, she didn't pass away. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. she's very good. How long were you gone? Uh, I went to jail for a week. That was it. You left the patient for a week. Uh, somebody probably went there before I got out, <laughs> <laughs> but I definitely left her. Cause yeah. where was your relief at? Um, I'm pretty sure she went when she was supposed to in the morning. So, the yeah. yeah, yeah. Damn, damn. Um, did you have any plans on getting your RN license? Yeah, I did have those plans because, you know, my mom was a nurse before she died and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was basically, you know, following her footsteps type stuff. Mm -hmm. And once I went to jail, it was around like COVID time. I just was like, you know what? I am not about to do this. I'm yeah. good. So I just started doing hair. I feel like um, it's pretty common in where we from for girls to do be a nurse. Mm -hmm. do nursing and stuff like that. Because I definitely, when I got in enrolled in the college, that's the first thing I did. Was I said, oh, I want to be an a RN. Knowing I wanted to be in entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, that's kind of one of the, not, not the easiest jobs to get. But I feel like it's the most common for that, um, the amount that you make. Because mm -hmm. the nurses, nurses be. Make, they make a lot. Nurses make money. <laughs> Okay, so th did you ever like get put on the hood or anything? Mm hmm. What hood you get put on? I'm from Hat Game, Watts Crip. Hat Game? 
had game like, watched. I'm not being funny right no, now. No, no, no. I know you're not. Trust <laughs> me. <laughs> I know. Um, and what age did you get put on? Uh, I was 16 going on 17. Okay, so around the time when your mom passed yeah, and mm-hmm. all that. So you kind of, did you have family around or is that why you turned to the streets? Um, I had like one older cousin, whatever. Um, but you know, he had his own life, whatever. And then my dad at that time was still grieving for my mom and stuff like that. Mm. And then he had just got me back from foster care. So it was just like, it took a lot on him. So it was just like, he wasn't paying me no mind. Mm -hmm. So it's like the homegirls that I had from middle school, it's like, okay, we hanging out, we thugging, then I'm fighting and stuff like that. But I'm not knowing I'm fighting other girls from different hoods that they beefing with. So now I'm like, all right, I'm really finna thug with y'all now. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get put on. Cause it's like, when I didn't have clothes or shoes or stuff like that, that's where my homegirls and my homies came in at. So, What age um, did you go into foster care? 11. And then so from 11 to 16? Mm-hmm. Wow. See, this is why I wanted to sit and talk to you because it's like all the stuff that people see from y'all on the show is that y'all just fighting, fighting, fighting. Like y'all yeah. just angry people and y'all got a story. Y'all done been through some things, you know? And uh, I'm from South Central, so I knew I'm like, these girls got stories that need to be told for real, like, you know. Um, but, okay, so you do hair. You doing hair. You getting in the hair. Were you, like, <laughs> successful in it? Did you like doing it? Yeah. Uh, when I started, I started in 2019. And then I got into a shop on Florence. Um, it was like in the six souls. And I was doing hair there. My cousin girlfriend gave me a shot at her shop or whatever like that. But um, we, we had got into this little situation where I was just like, girl, I need to work 24 hours of the day. And mm-hmm. you want to close on a Sunday. This is not it. Need, so, need, yeah. yeah. So this lady <laughs> named Desi, she ended up giving me an opportunity on Melrose. Mm-hmm. And I ended up going on Melrose doing hair. And she was just giving me client stuff. And I was able to just meet different, you know, celebrities different models and stuff like that so yeah that's what i was doing right before i start being on tv i love that you um even with the nursing doing hair that you found a way to turn your life around so that you're not a product of your own environment or your own you know situation or whatever. yeah okay so now <laughs> get into the so you go on south central baddies how did you get casted um my shout out to bambi because that's my that's my um, my homegirl Bambi cousins from my hood. Okay. It was like this whole little situation that happened where Bambi thought like we jumped her, but that wasn't the case. I honestly just kind of shoved her a little bit because she was getting the best of the fight. Okay. And like we was going back and forth on the internet at that time. She was on South Central Baddie season one. Bambi's the one with. Krishan and the no Bambi is the one that fought pressure on season four this time when okay, pressure okay, walked okay. in was like oh you're not Bambi okay, that one okay. so we end up having our little situation and we went to the streets we fought it out but she went live she had a black eye so I guess Isaiah was wondering like what the happened and he casted me thinking she was gonna come back on season three and we was gonna fight again but we had a on the street type of thing so it was like we're gonna fight it on the street and keep it there mm-hmm. so you got casted <laughs> because of shit that happened outside the show mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. shout out to isaiah yeah this know how to pick them yeah. like he knows how to pick y'all and it's like it just makes more sense if y'all gonna be getting into it and y'all gonna be fighting and stuff we might as well monetize it put some money in your pocket yeah you know uh because you're gonna be fighting for free anyway yeah pretty much <laughs> sure. pretty much um okay so i was wondering on this season what, what are we on now season four or five four so you came into the house with pending fades mm-hmm. where did all of that start from um okay so my pending fade was cash Mm -hmm. that was my pending fade it was because on season three i already had built up animosity because it's like i came on season three i'm just a regular chill person like i'm you know technically shy so it was just like put me in a situation where a girl make up a storyline when we know we already talked mm-hmm. and you go in front of a camera and now you want to pick like you just like, you know, I'm pressing you when you know that I was never coming like that. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So I'm not that type of person. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. So it was like, all right, we fall for season three and then for season four, I was never going to come back at all. But I was in a car with some of the cast that she was getting into with mm-hmm. and she was like, she was going to dig my dad, mama. So I'm just like, okay. 
All right, cool, cool. You gonna do that? And I'm gonna pop up at this house. Like you must don't know. I was never gonna go in there, but then when they called me, like, oh, okay, yeah, like we're gonna pay you. All right, cool. So I'm finna come for you. That's what it was. Uh, what was the point of her saying all that? Um Honestly, I think it's because after I pulled up at Blueface House and I fought cuz of a lot of people seen that when I Oh, that was you. Yeah. I worked on that show. <laughs> that was, right. so that was your ass. Yeah, that was that was definitely me. <laughs> they seen how bad that I went and how hard I was going for that mama topic. So she did that because she knew I was gonna go. What was your issue with Cuzzo? Um, it was no real big issue with her. Cuzzo was mainly like somebody I was on season three. And then we was going back and forth. And I'm a woman about it. We both spoke on each other, mama. Like, you feel me? We both said some shit. Mm -hmm. But the only person, only thing about me is, like, if I say some shit, I'm standing on it. So if I disrespected you, just make sure when you see me, you do what you need to do. Because I'm going to do the same thing. And that's what it was. But she felt like when she got casted for Blue Girls Club, that, oh, the issue was done. You in L.A. If you don't think I'm going to find you, you're crazy. Everybody know everybody. How did y'all know each other to even have a communication? She was casted for season three of South Central Baddies. Because I was. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Oh, but did she come on? No, because she got she casted for Blue, Blue Girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did you ever audition for a Blue, Blue Face show? No, uh -huh. I just popped up. <laughs> were, you, were you guys filming South Central Baddies when you went over there? Nope, we, had, we didn't start filming until after I popped up. <laughs> <laughs> after I popped up, we start filming. <laughs> And uh -huh. I didn't go on Blue Girls Club. He wanted me to after I popped up. He wanted me to come in the house, uh -huh. but I was like, no, I'm going to South Central. I got phase over there too. Like, <laughs> like no. Um, are you and Cuzzo good now? Um, from little nitpicking, I see. I feel like she still wants her get back because how I did her, like, okay, was kind of, you know, I want my get back too. No shade. So I feel like she do. She want her get back, but me personally, I have no. No issue with her. No beef, no nothing. Um, I'm glad that she's, you know, elevating in life and doing what she got to do as a woman. But if she want to get that, we can get that. But I don't have no big issue with her. Um, what was the situation with, because it seemed like you and Pressure was talking about, it, I want to say it was like early in the season when you you and Pressure was having a back and forth about a cousin or a sister or something. Yeah. <clears throat> what, was that some like, off the show type of stuff like what was that about i couldn't yeah. i really couldn't follow the the tension okay so the tension with that is like okay so i don't know pressure at all i seen pressure when pressure did uh south central body season one mm -hmm. that was it so pressure sister i don't know her pressure sister girlfriend I don't know her, but me and her got into it over my cousin, which is Diane. You feel me? So when we got into it, it got on some, some street shit. So now that it's some street shit, it's like, it don't got nothing to do with nobody. You feel me? We already took it street. We already know what it is. So I guess the girlfriend supposedly caught me slipping at the grocery store. But I was able to still walk out the grocery store and make it home. And she tried to like make it seem like they marked me out or something. It was never that. I hit somebody up like, hey, these people want that. Tell them what it is. But what they were trying to do, I wasn't on. I'm not going to lose my life to that. You feel me? So when I see you, I'm just going to do what I'm going to do. So when Pressure came in the house, I never addressed Pressure on her sister at all. I had talked to Pressure basically about the situation with Bambi because Bambi had got jumped right before we went in the house. And I felt like that was some fucked up ass shit. If your sister going to get up on your mans, your sister can get up on your mans. But what do this toxic bitch got anything to do with anything? So when that happened, I'm talking to her and... I don't know. I thought we was having a good conversation. She came out the blue like, oh, you got a problem with my sister? No, I don't. Because in reality, I don't. I'm not going to lie to you and say, yeah, I have a problem with your sister. No, I don't. It almost felt like she wanted you to get extra out. Like She wanted to. But since I have my own show that I'm coming out with called The Control, I told myself going on there, I was going to have self-control. You feel me? Because season three, I didn't. I let everything get in my way to the point I couldn't even do hair. I couldn't show who I really was. So this time, I didn't want that. So it was like when she felt that she was pressing me, it was like, all right, now I'm going to get up. Because I don't know what you thought that you was wrong. You kind of said the same thing a few times. And it's like, I said it's good. Yeah. But she kept. It was almost like she wanted you to be like, all right, bitch, what's up? Or, yeah, you know, and I was going to give her exactly that. But you held that. it. You, you, I feel like you stood on everything you said. 
and everything was cool because I never even thought about it until after the show came out and she got on live and she said like she pressed me I'm like press me where because I put you to the side I sat down comfortably and looked up at you. If I felt any type of press, I would have been standing up. Like, everybody already know how I am. So, it's like, it was confusing. But I'm like, all right, cool. But then it just kept going on and on and on and on with the internet shit. Then she got mad about my uh, hit list. I said, as a grown-ass woman, if we can't have a conversation and you feel like you finna press me again, I'm gonna get up on you. What do you mean? Like, that's not saying I want to fight you. That's just saying, like, if we can't settle this as women... I will put my hands on you because you're not going to... Gr- she, you see her? She big. Yeah, she, <laughs> she big. She's a stallion. Yeah. <laughs> so, baby, I'm going to get up on you. But it was no disrespect to her. And I think people, they don't use their minds. So, they just quick to want to fight. What is the environment like in the house? Like, I, I ain't never been to jail before. But when I look at it, it just seems like it might be like an uncomfortable environment. Like, you might have to sleep with one eye open. Or you might not have to sleep. At, you can't sleep at all, really. <laughs> Do y'all sleep in that motherfucker? Um, I do sometimes. The first season, I really didn't. The second season, like, I pushed the dresser towards the door. Like, oh. so they wouldn't come in. Because not like that. I came in late. So I was in the room with people that them people upstairs might want to get. So it was like, all right, let me go ahead and protect myself. But it is like the county jail. It's like you got to walk past on your toes. <laughs> I've been to the county before. So, so it is the county. Yeah. It's like the county. Yeah. Oh, and it is like, it ain't like they don't feed us. It's just, we so busy fighting. By the time we get ready to eat, everybody look like where the food go. Nigga, they got to yeah. put it up. It's time to go. Like, <laughs> you feel me? So, yeah. Ooh, cold. Were there ever any instances where you just felt unsafe? Like, you know what? Today might be the day I need to go home. No. <laughs> no. They wasn't running me nowhere. Is it is it important um, on South Central Bodies to, like, build an alliance? No. Or to, you would be cool with moving, like, Dolo? Yeah, I was. I didn't, like, move with people upstairs because it's like, you got you to gotta play your cards right. First of all, I got issues with cash, right? <laughs> me and Bree, we didn't have words on Instagram. And then I'm not, me and, me and the other person really not, you know, we didn't come in seeing how to hide me and pressure. We just had a, some, a tense moment. Oh, I'm going downstairs. <laughs> I'm playing my cards. I'm not going upstairs with some bitches that might kill me in my sleep. No. Yeah, yeah but, but me personally. It, it feel like that? Like somebody might try to, like, get you? Shank you? It don't feel like they're going to shank you, but it feel like they're going to beat your ass up out your sleep. Oh, you never know what, goodness. like, you never know what these people really be going through yeah. before they come into this house. And then yeah. they be holding in so much anger to the point it's like, all right, come on. Because ain't no way in hell that y'all got to run nine fades back to back to back. You can't be that angry because one phase should be enough for people because I feel like if I fight you that one time, whether I win or lose, what is it going to change with the situation? Nothing. Mm-hmm. Nothing. But they will go on and on. It's just like sitting there like this season. I just was like, whoa. Do you ever get tired of like watching the fights or even fighting yourself? Yeah, I get tired of fighting. I don't get tired of watching them because it'd be funny. <laughs> it'd be funny. They be coming up with some 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 things. But me personally, yeah, I, I am. Does the Do the beef be like, is it real or is it just like little catty shit and then when we see each other just got to be on site? Uh, for my situations, yeah. My situations was, like, really petty shit. Like, me and Cash, we honestly can get past. Like, well, now at this moment, since my mom was brought up, we can't, like, mm-hmm. be kumbaya. But we could have got past the whole, like, season three, we could have got past that. What if she apologized to you? Um, I'm going to take the apology because, like, you know, I'm a forgiving person, and I do believe in God, too, and you feel me? It's just, I can't never be around you. We can't never, like, be friends. We can't never, you know. It can't be never that. But I could forgive you. Like, I forgot. I forgave a lot of stuff in my life. So, I could forgive her. Are um, you friends with any of the girls on the show, like, in real life? Um, I'm very cordial with a lot of them. But I play it safe. Because at the end of the day, like, like I tell some of them, like, either you family or I'm, I'm cool with you. I'm cordial with you. It's really no friends to me. Because, you know, that friends got that N-word on it. So that can end at any point. They switch up. Yeah. Um, why was you so mad when Isaiah broke that fight up with you and Cass? Because he's a fucking babysitter. Like, he need to go sit his babysitter ass down somewhere. Like, <laughs> why would you touch me? Like, I feel like you see... 
I'm fighting her. You see how passionate I am about fighting her. Why are you breaking it up? But if you look at everybody else fights, did you really see that he was not breaking it up? It's just cash. Like when people get the best of her, it's like he has to break it up. Like you know I was going to wheel her ass on that couch. What you think is like favoritism? I don't know what it is when it comes to them. I don't. Well, I know he said, well I don't know if he said it or she said it, but they said they're like they're real friends. They yeah, friends um when I when I came onto the cast um on season 3, yeah. They all, like, everybody was all, like, real friends. I think this show was based off friends, you know, and then it just went bigger than what it was and what he expected. And, you know, sometimes friends got to go their way. Have you ever been intimate with any of the girls in the house? Yeah. Oh, move that mic a little closer. (laughs) Yeah. um, Who has Nina scissored? um, I had Mar from season one. I dated her. Okay. Um, Shay from um, Young and Reckless. Okay. She was supposed to be on season three, and I had her, and that's it. That's all? Yeah. Is there anybody you want to fuck with? Um, let's see. It's Valentine's Day. Shoot your shot right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Honestly, probably... I think it's Ferragamo. I think that's her name. Which one is Fer? Oh, Ferragamo's from, uh, from Young and Reckless. Reckless. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Ferragamo's pretty. Yeah, she's. I don't know if it's the fangs or what it is, but I like her. Yeah. It's another girl on there that's really pretty to me. Um, she's chocolate. She real real dark skin. She got uh she got like real big lips. I can't think of her name. She cool. She ain't fought yet, but she's oh, yeah. she's really pretty on that show to me. Oh, I know who you talking about Saf. I think that's her name. I yeah, think that's her name. Let's take a shot. Y'all, Nina came bearing gifts. <laughs> is this my Valentine's Day gift? This is like yeah, because I didn't Day know gift? if I was going to finish your chocolate. I was up standing in the store for a cool minute, so I was kind of like running a little bit late because of that. I'm not picky. I enjoy your presence. Ooh, all right. This is not my... Um, all right, there we go. Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> that shit went straight to my nose. It oh. hits you right back. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> oh I shit! I had to like take it like a G for a second. Yes. Mm. Oh, okay. Now you said you have your own show coming. Mm-hmm, yeah. What is that show about? Um, it's called The Control. Okay. I actually, um, after I finished season four, I'm like, I want something different because it's like, I can't keep fighting. Like, I feel like I was getting to my little soft girl era. So I'm yeah. like, you know, I want to show people a different side, but I need to learn how to control my anger mm-hmm. and control, like, not to let people get the best of me, which, mm-hmm. like, they'll be in the comments talking smack and stuff. So. I talked with, you know, my sister and my manager and stuff. And then they was just like, well, you need some self-control. So then the title just came from the control. Mm-hmm. So basically, my girls will basically be in the house and it will be no fighting. Ooh. No fighting except for the last day, which will be a boxing match. So basically, they'll be in the house. They'll have different challenges and stuff. And they'll be able to win Nina money. And I'll be able to give them $5,000 at the end of the whole entire thing. But they cannot fight. As soon as you put your hands on someone, you have to go home. Because if you worked at yeah. McDonald's and you put your hands on somebody, you got to go home. So See, That's what I expected the academy to give. Mm-hmm. Like no fighting, just all like like charm school. Yeah. The way charm school was. Um, I love that. Yeah, I, like I think my girls that I've casted, they're very sweet, uh-huh. they're loving, and they actually are willing to learn, and that's the thing. And I'll be actually growing with them, because y'all know I'm still a little bit yeah. off the high road <laughs> a little bit. Um, And that's going to be on Now That's TV? 
Um, we're gonna see. Okay. We're gonna see. If not as TV, do not pick it up. I will be going to either OnlyFans or YouTube, whatever, mm-hmm. until they feel like they want to pick it up. But yeah, that's my first go to. Well, they got the the Gen. What is it called? Gen Now TV. They got the Fubu Network. They got like it's like a lot of streaming apps coming out right now. With mm-hmm. all, you know, with all the reality shows. Um, so you tapping into your software era. Yeah. I like that. Because <laughs> on the reunion or the court, whatever the fuck y'all was doing, you came in with the Cleos. I had to. <laughs> I, I had said, to. she put the fuck some shit up. Listen, I had to because if you didn't remember in season three, when I snatched Cash wig off her head and I ran down them stairs and I gave them to Liddy and then they burnt that motherfucker. Baby, I was not going to that reunion with my lace front on. Like, it's just, I fell in love with the lace front. I don't know what it was, but it yeah. just gave a different look for me. So I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going with the braids, just I, in case. I love this version of you. Like, I love the calm and the peaceful. Like, <laughs> I love that. Even you just did a photo shoot, and you was getting all, you was a little... Yeah, <laughs> little this. Yeah, but yeah I was like, I had to, like, give a little spice I like up. I like sexy Nina. Yeah, a lot of people didn't. They didn't think that. Like, I guess TV give a different perspective for people. Yeah, yeah. But then, if you people meet me in real life, like my clients, people then came to me for different stuff. They be like, "Dang, like you really?" I be like, "Yeah, I'm not like that. I'm really sweet. I'm chill. I'm laid back. Whatever. Just don't piss me off. Right. That's it." What would you say South Central Baddies has done for your career? Um, when I first came in, I only had like 17,000 followers from my hair page and stuff. And since I've been on there, I have people from like overseas. I have people that, that really support me for real, for real, like in my real life, call and check on me and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And far as opening different doors, like even this, cause I feel like if I didn't go on South Central Radio, I wouldn't even be here. Like I did, I was watching you for like a long guy's time. Aww. So it actually was on my bucket <laughs> list to come here. So I feel like they have opened so many doors, yeah. just runway shows, me just doing hair a lot of different things so i do appreciate that and that's why i moved out of state because i'm like okay now i'm able to just you know i feel like i conquered cali let me go to another state and stuff so but they did they big one i wouldn't go back though but they yeah. did they big one i love that for you speaking of big one mm-hmm. every show has their own saying who is the originator of on my show <laughs> if you if you go to season three right <laughs> And listen back to the whole season. You're going to hear that I was the only one saying it at first, right? I got that from my ex-girlfriend, Mar. Uh Mar used to be in my house and say that shit so much. I picked up on it and went on season three and kept saying, oh, my soul, oh, my soul. And then after that, Cash and them picked it up and they went on with that shit. And I just (laughs) let them have it. I was like, I'm not going to go prove who fucking did it. But I just feel like it's now that TV slogan at this point. So Nina is the original. Yes. I'm telling y'all, go look. Look, I'm telling y'all, go look right now. Season three, go listen and pay attention to that and see who really started it for real. One my show. <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling you, <laughs> I was sitting in that chair. My titties was wrapped up with that towel and I kept saying on my soul, I will beat your ass, bitch. <laughs> I kept saying that. Nobody want to listen to me. I love how reality TV is giving us the sl- the slogan and the terms and the saying and shit. Because everybody now we all say I do my big one for real. And um, on my show, like that has just like when a bitch say on my show, they be so serious. You're serious <laughs> on my show is like that. It didn't came too big for real. And just for y'all to just be a show on now that's TV. South Central baddies is some real LA shit. Yeah, for they real. They say the get down. They say that we're like super behind. It's like you know as a coast, and that yeah. people don't deal with us and stuff like that. And like we like our music is whack. Our you know like it's a, it's a lot of shit they say about LA. The fact that you guys have blown the fuck up and y'all got the world saying. On my show. For real. <laughs> that and the dead it. homies, and I don't oh, give a yeah. fuck about your mama. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. Shorty got a lot of these slogans going viral on TikTok. <laughs> so I give them that for real. Who stole that girl money? I don't know. I wasn't in the house. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Have you had anything ever come up missing in the house? No, I don't bring nothing. <laughs> This is LA. I don't, these are LA people. I do not play. What's your thoughts on? Because what did you think about? Because Isaiah was saying that he thought that she was lying about her money coming up missing because he was bringing somebody else into the house. Honestly, I feel like it's always her side, his side, then the truth. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, ain't yeah. ever gonna know we'll that fucking truth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, honestly, because shit, who who knows? Yeah. 
I felt that in my soul when her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when All her I know is when I missing, found her missing like, money, I said, "Ooh." Yeah. I was like, Damn. "They need to break me off a piece yeah. because how dare they?" Yeah, it's like an um, it's like an invasion of privacy. Yeah, to, you know, just to. But I, if you smart, you wouldn't bring nothing to something like that. If you really watch out central right, bodies, right, right, no right. shade. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, what was your thoughts on the reunion? Um, a lot of people are mad at me. I'm getting eight up for the reunion. Why? Okay, so you know how it's upstairs, downstairs, and like a lot of people was like, "Oh yeah, you got every shirt on, you a minion." Da, da, da. But me personally, I'm the type of person you selling something. I'm going to support you. That's just it. It don't matter. So I had to like make people realize and zoom in. Like when we got to the courtroom, you seen I didn't have her sweater on because it was Nina's movement at that moment. I'm going to support you until I feel like now it's my time. You feel me? So with that being said, a lot of people really was eating my ass up about that sweater. But I love it. The sweater is dope. Yeah. But I feel like they I don't really know. I knew that they were going to come with people. Because I was part of season three of Come With People Afterwards. So mm-hmm. I already knew what it was. So I was already prepared. My people yeah. was already outside. I but was already. That's some LA shit though. Yeah. Some bitches fuck with me all 50 and my homegirls gonna be outside. Like that's feel, just regular. That's just how we. <laughs> I feel like everybody be trying to dictate how people want to move. Like, oh, yeah. you bring in glitter or you bring in extra people. You can't tell people how to move once y'all beefed up. Not in war. <laughs> like, if we beefed up, bitch, if I want to use glitter, I'm going to use it's glitter. If I want to use a knife, I want to use a knife. If whatever I want to use, yeah. I, whatever I want to use. So don't be beefed up with me if that's the case. Mm-hmm. But they don't be seeing that. They don't. Do you have a side? Or are you like team anybody? No. I fuck with who fuck with me. Okay. okay. It's just it's just sadly that I don't really fuck with nobody from the other side that was upstairs mm-hmm. like that. Like I don't we don't see eye to eye, like And upstairs is Liddy, Pressure, um, Cash, um Knuckles, Bree. Bree. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so when the people was outside during the reunion, mm-hmm. was it any smoke with you? Or was that just for everybody else? Um, from what I was told, my homegirls was outside, like from my neighborhood, mm-hmm. and they said that nobody wanted to smoke. Nobody they, said yeah, that. nobody said my name. I think I really was just in the middle after the reunion. It was mm-hmm. a lot of talk from pressuring them, but like during the reunion, it wasn't. My name wasn't being brought up. Mm. What were your thoughts about pressure hitting the girl and then boning out and not wanting to fight the? Because somebody else was, was Ivory trying to fight her afterwards. Uh, Billy. Billy. Okay. Okay. Billy. Billy. Uh, I was pissed because she was my client. She was coming. You didn't see my hair stuff in the back. You got to go back and rewind that. Like my hair stuff was right there. Her hair was looking crazy though, almost the whole season. She was coming to sit down and get her hair done. It's just like you bat that girl. Like for what though? I feel like at that moment I knew when watching it back, I just was like, that's some real pussy shit right there. Because in reality, it's like you hitting all these small girls, but it's like Lolly was in your room and damaged your clothes. You supposed to ran back up on her. You feel me? Like oh, when everybody was gone or something. Yes, right? like okay, she was okay, in your okay, room. She 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 damaged your shit. Why you didn't run back up on her? You feel me? Like let's be real, fly now. Nah, you ran a fade with her. Why you didn't run up back up on her? Mm-hmm. You claiming that like you feel me? When you walked out that room, I told you your sister can get it. Why you didn't run up on me? Why would you hit this little girl like that? Whether she was in your room or not, you listen to hearsay. Everybody tried to like they try to pick and choose what they can be mad about. Like you can't do that. Like mm-hmm. if you go be mad about her standing in your room, you need to go get Lolly too, cause she about your size too. Like you mm-hmm. feel me? But they. That shit was wrong Like But I feel like I'm not about to jump for nobody That's not gonna jump for themselves When you got When she got here She did go in the bathroom And it's like You didn't go get your mans Cause if I get here I'm not gonna go in the bathroom I'm finna go get my mans Then I'm gonna go in the bathroom Like mm-hmm. So I just stood right there And was like Why would you do that? <laughs> like, why would you do that? Did that Uber driver Press charges on y'all? Mm, I got on <laughs> Police and ex felons do not mix. <laughs> you don't mix that together. Can you break down that last episode? Because it was so freaking chaotic, and it was just like, what the hell is it? It seemed like y'all didn't even know the show had ended. I I didn't know the show ended. <laughs> I was sleep, and they gonna keep. They gonna fire eat me up for this. But I was sleep, and they opened up my door. Like Nina, record this. I'm like, all right, cool. Wipe my eyes. I followed them through a room, followed them out the window, followed them up the driveway, and they just start throwing in stuff to make chicken at them <laughs> and frying their ass. That's what that was. I was confused too, but I was told to record. So I like, let me record this because I do need to rewind this and see this again. Oh my goodness. That was, <laughs> it was so freaking hard for me to keep up on what was going on. 
Um, did y'all accomplish what y'all trying to accomplish that day? I guess they did. I just was like, they're just standing there with the phone like this, trying to act like I have a phone, but had a phone the whole time. <laughs> I hope they did. Shit. Are y'all allowed to have phones in the house during no. the show? Oh, damn. See, mm-hmm. now that would mess with my mental. Yeah. That would mess with my mental. Nah, but you're smart, so you have a phone when you're not supposed to have a phone. You'll be Ah, good. okay, yeah. okay. Bring two up. Two up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let them have that one, and you got the other one. Is, um, is the pay worth all the fades? Um, it depends on who you are on the network. Mm, okay. So you could ask for what you want. No, you can't ask what you want, but you better do what you need to do to get what you work. Okay, okay. Like, you feel me? It all depends. Like, as you seen, like, I didn't really do too much on season four. I had my win fade and I went and sat my ass down. Was that, so was, did you get paid for season four? Mm-hmm. I got okay. paid for season four. Okay, yeah. Right. And then what about this one? You got paid for this one? For the reunion? For, oh, y'all get paid for the reunion too? Yeah, we get paid for the, the show, show and, and the reunion. reunion. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me find out. Yeah, because it's like, I'm going to pay you for to come to the show, but then yeah. it's just like, to get you to come to this reunion, just because you got about five other fades, mm-hmm. I'm going to pay you to come to this one too. So why do cast members keep saying it like they not getting paid and... Like I feel like that now that's TV, I'm really grateful for now that's TV. I don't know everybody else's experience because mm-hmm. it, I was raised up differently. So I respect people differently. Yeah. So it's like I don't just disrespect them. I call the people that I need to call to get things done. Mm-hmm. Um, I also have a manager. So it's like that also helps as well, too. And then it's like I don't press no issue. Most people are like, we want it now. We want it now. But it's like. He got like fifty million other people. He probably got to pay. You yeah. feel me? And it's like it's this not man just is cast his staff. Too. Yeah, like he got to write this out. He's also traveling. He's on set. Like people don't take yeah. in consideration what you really have to do when you're coming from the ground to the top. You feel me? And they tend to get mad. Then it's like you got to think about it. He's mailing checks out to you. So if he's mailing them to you, you don't have an address. You don't have certain things going on for yourself or whatever the case may be. You're not getting back. It's on you too yeah, So yeah. but I never had a complication As far as like Getting my check on time And then if they read Their contracts They actually tell you How long it takes For you to get your check After filming yeah, And yeah. people be complaining After a week I ain't get paid mm-hmm. Bitch did you read The Sometimes contract on that 30 And that 90 yeah. mm-hmm. They be on that 30 mm-hmm. And they don't be Understanding that Like mm-hmm. bitch It says 30 days Like yeah, yeah. you're not gonna Get it next week I got so much um, Respect for All independent things Whether it's artists Films, I'm a like Tubi fucking fanatic. Like I love Tubi, mm-hmm. so I really like that. Like I said, y'all from where I'm from, so I really love that it's a black owned network. Is it black owned? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's black. Black owned network, black shows, putting people on from the city. Like you can't do nothing but respect for real. Um, uh, any celebrities slid on you? Um. No, they have not slid on me like trying to holler or nothing like that. Like I did certain celebrities' hair and stuff. Okay. Got you, you ain't caught nobody like liking fifty pictures or anything, sending you the eyes late night. You know, everybody got a blue check nowadays. So right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't pay no mind. I don't know no who more. the nigga is no more. <laughs> yeah, I don't be knowing no more. Okay. All right, we're gonna get into these whole fashion questions. Cause of course I'm here to get in your business. <laughs> Uh oh, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you had to choose between being naked in public or having your thoughts appear in bubbles, so everybody can read them, which one would you choose? Naked in public. You rather be naked in public than your thoughts? Gina, I ain't like I ain't never been naked All before right. in public. <laughs> I'm always naked in public. I didn't went to a public place where a pool where you could be naked. I've like skinny dipping. Mm-hmm. You skinny dipping. I, I love to be naked. Like I just feel like I have a gorgeous body. Like most girls yeah, yeah, will yeah. really want my body, so I naked it is. Wait, so what was the skinny dipping like? Everybody was naked there. Yeah, in Vegas, um, it's a it's a, like a topless pool, whatever, like that. They you got know? that in Vegas. Yeah. Also, oh, it's topless, so it ain't no dick swinging. No, ain't no dick swing, but they be having their little speedos on. No you be dick. Staring? To, no, I'll stare at the bitches. Though, I'm not gonna lie, I do. Cause I just imagine I'm gonna just be like this all the time. Like it, ooh, I look Ariola. at the titties. The titties definitely be out, and I definitely be like, dang, okay. Is it like white people shit? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of white, white. people there. Yeah, but they have some black girls there. You probably meet a cool little trick up over there. Probably so. I ain't gonna lie. White niggas be on yeah. it. True. Let's go to Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> In theory. How much would you charge for head? 
I like 10,000 because that shit hurt. I like eating pussy more than sucking dick. So Wait, what hurt? Like in your mouth? Like, yeah, I can't keep my my, my jaws. I can't. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Like, I don't know. My jaws will lock up like after one minute of it. Like, yeah, it's so, like yeah. working out. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. I definitely eat pussy better okay. than sucking dick. So I'm gonna need a lot for sucking some dick. So <laughs> ten thousand is a lot. You want that dick sucked? <laughs> <laughs> you want it sucked? Then All right, how long would you go for ten minutes? I'll go how long you need. He's gonna have to give me some water. I'm probably gonna have to exercise my jaws a little bit. Shoot. What's the longest you think you've given hair before? On a drunk night, probably like a cool little 15 minutes. 15 minutes is a long time. For real? Big. When you drunk, yeah. it, you, don't count the, yeah. you don't count the seconds or the minutes. Yeah, you don't. You don't have any seconds of dick tonight. <laughs> I'm just playing. I don't got nobody to give hair to in LA. <laughs> um, what's your biggest sexual regret? Hmm. Not getting hit sooner. Oh, yeah. I just started getting hit like this year. Really? For the first time, yeah. Well, so you didn't make this? Well, you okay, this year it? is like what? Um, in February? Yeah, February. So like last year, I just started getting hit. When you lose your virginity? Uh, I got sexually assaulted at 11. So I started oh, fucking people like around like 16. Like for real fucking? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you was just letting niggas, you was just fucking without getting hit? Yeah. Hell no. Nah. So nobody just started off like right out the gate like nope. put you in my mouth. I had girls, guys like offer and I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I don't like that. I'm oh, straight. Oh, you didn't fuck with it? Mm-mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Nope. When did you start fucking with girls? Uh, what I was like, 14, 13. Really? Mm-hmm. I've been with I like girls. So you've been in like actual relationships with girls or just mm-hmm. fucking around with them? Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. I got a girl tatted and all that. What? Mm-hmm. What happened to her? Where's she at? Uh, I like both sex. So like, my first girl I got tatted was a like kind of stud or whatever, and I like niggas, and I couldn't wing off the niggas. So. Do studs like it? Yeah, she like head. I gave her head. I like giving head. Like I'm like a fucking just. I love fucking giving head. Nasty Nina. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just had a question. Oh, what about threesomes? Did you have like threesomes with with the girls? Um. I had one threesome my whole life, and it just ruined me. Why? Because it's just like I brought the girl to the table. My day was in the room. I went to go get some water, came back. They was already fucking. So I just was like, you know, I'm just not going to do it. But I do want to do a threesome. Was he your boo? He was my nigga. He was my nigga for a cool minute. I got him tied seven seven times still to this day. So how did you react when you walked in and saw them? I did. I let him finish. I sat in the living room, finished drinking my water. What? <laughs> yes. I sat in the room. So they wasn't even like, Nina. No. What? No. I let them finish. Okay, then what happened when they came out the room? She came out the room and I went and took a walk and they was chasing after me. And I just was like, I'm smooth. And then she went home crying and then I just like started doing me. Wasn't did paying him no mind. You broke up with him? Nope, just started doing me. Oh my goodness. Where did you find a girl at? Jail. <laughs> I found her in jail When I went to go do time in jail I was I turned her into liking girls I didn't ever fuck her in jail or nothing I don't know We just had like a chemistry and stuff mm-hmm. And then when we got out We just started fucking with each other But then I had a nigga So it's like alright bitch Come fuck with me and my nigga And that night I invited her over Shit I don't know I got her comfortable enough But I stepped out to get some water I was dehydrated It was really hot in that room mm-hmm. And yeah They start fucking And I let them I didn't want to interrupt nothing I'm a cancer, so I was like, let me just go ahead and let them do this. So from there, you just said you was cool on threesomes? Yep, I was cool on threesomes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Have you ever been caught masturbating? Have I? No, I haven't. No? I haven't. I, I kind of like be waiting till people go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I wait till they go to sleep or I go in the bathroom, turn the shower room. Yeah. See, I'm a serial masturbator, and like I always feel weird when he look at me. <laughs> I would feel weird if he was I looking at like me. I feel like it's a person or something. And I like kick, get out, motherfucker! Like <laughs> get out. Um, do you watch porn? Mm-hmm. What's your category? It probably seem weird, but I like gay on gay porn. I don't know what it is. But I like men what on gender? men porn. I like men. On, yes. No, I'm cool. I, no. <laughs> I do. I really do. I like to watch men on men porn. I don't know what it is that satisfies me, but it does. See, I like. 
<laughs> I like watching girls give girls head in order for me to masturbate, but dudes, fucking niggas, that's crazy because I don't want to see no nigga doing nothing I do. Oh yeah, I just definitely I don't know what it is. One day I just was like, whoop, and I seen it, and I just I don't know. I just got is aroused. It, is it anything that they do, or is it like something specific? Um, like you, do you enjoy seeing a nigga get anal? Yeah, <gasps> I do. No, <laughs> I do. <laughs> no! I really do. What? I do. Okay, I, would you have a threesome with two guys? No, I wouldn't, because I consider it as a flip. Like they be flipping me. That's not really no threesome. Okay, okay. Uh, I mean, you know. And I wouldn't fuck a, a no shade. Like, I love my gay man, but I wouldn't fuck a gay man. Yeah, 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 yeah. But okay. looking at it, I don't know. It just makes me, it just turns me on. Okay, so what if, what if one of them not fucking you? Maybe one just giving you head or something and the other one fucking you? If they gay, it's just like, I don't know. They don't touch each other. So basically, if they're not gay and they're just doing me, yeah, that's fine with me. Whoever your two, who your two celebrity crushes? <laughs> <laughs> um, that is so funny. Um, it's crazy because you already had them on here. It's crazy as fuck. Uh, I definitely got a, a crush on Fredo Bang. Okay. I definitely got a crush on him, and then I also like this country rapper. I do. I like him as well. Damn, let me get my phone, y'all, because... <laughs> Is he, like, white country or black country? He white country. Oh, okay. Yeah, he have white you, country. Have you had sex outside your race before? No. No? Ever. Do you want to? No, I don't think so. Okay. I just can't take no white meat. It's weird, ain't Yeah, it? like, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got the country rapper and Fredo Bang. Yeah, I've been liking Fredo for a cool minute. Uh, he used to follow my old Instagram before it got deleted. Then I don't know what happened. Oh, uh, you, you gotta you. Let's call him. <laughs> <laughs> I be getting on his live. I be paying for that little shit, the little hard shit and shit like that. Like, <laughs> let's see, let's see if he answered. Let's call him. Oh, it's this guy. It's this guy who comes in my life all the time to tell me that he wants me to peg him. To peg him? Yeah. He wants to take 14 inches. Oh, my. Fredo. Hello. So, my guest here said you her celebrity crush. <laughs> so, I said, let me call him. <laughs> can, can you say hi to Nina? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got Fredo on the phone, y'all. Fredo on the phone. All right. Uh, <laughs> it be the smile. It be the smile. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a nice smile. Um, what's up with you? He like I'm cute too. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> um. So you got Fredo and a country singer in the room together. Would you take that? I don't think he want me to take that. Yeah, he don't, I don't think he wants you to even answer that question. You don't want me to answer that question? <laughs> really? Um, <laughs> I'll take I'll take it. You'll take it? Mm-hmm. I'm just in like in like in my mind, it's like it's like a New York nigga <laughs> and a New York nigga. I'm taking both. But they were F housing. It's something about two niggas in the same room fucking that I don't fuck with. Yeah, I think it's a little like it'd be a little cringy at times. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't like. Yeah, it sounds cool to say like, oh yeah, two niggas on me, whatever. <laughs> but two men in the room with their dicks out, like, um, yeah, yeah um, I had to look when I seen one of these little pornos and stuff. I was like, how do they stand there and like be having to have contact with yeah. each other, knowing his dick is hard as hell <laughs> right now? I don't fuck with it. Um, so Nina. We have a game called. Do you have you ever tapped into music at all? A little bit, a little, little R and B. So this is actually the best part of the show. Okay. <laughs> so I have two cards in my hand. One card says spit. The other card says swallow. If you pick the card that says swallow, you gotta let me search your phone for the word swallow. Okay. If you pick the word that says spit, you gotta freestyle right now. Okay. I 
gotta swallow. <laughs> Girl, I thought this was your background. No, my background. <laughs> if you lock it, you'll see it. I was just like, why you got Nod on your background? Nod, you looking good. Okay. I don't be swallowing you guys, so. <laughs> I see. Good morning, sissy. Chop up the garlic and put honey over it. Swallow it like a pill. <laughs> Okay, so somebody had COVID. <laughs> Let's see what Twitter's talking about. Uh, so wallow. No results found. <laughs> Hold yeah. on. Did I just get beat, Drew? Yeah, for the first time. I got beat for the first time? All right. Last. I don't swallow anything. Last, last one. You won. <laughs> you won. I see, I'm telling y'all. My girl Nina not swallowing. Yeah, I don't do no swallowing. <laughs> oh, no. Nina, thank you so much for pulling up on me. I appreciate you. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, yeah. Come back anytime. Yeah, because oh, I like think he likes This me. is crazy right now. Rolling. Go ahead. Rolling, hey, hey. get he wants some titties. He, wants some titties. <laughs> he, he like what she got on. He like take me, take me to that uh, to where they skinny dipping. <laughs> <laughs> Let everybody know where to find you, where to follow you, where they can keep up with all things Nina. Hey guys, so you know you guys can catch me on YouTube, the only big Nina, and on Instagram, the only big Nina. You feel me? And I will give out my Twitter, but let me check it out one time because I don't even got it on hand for real, for real. But I'm pretty sure it's the same as everything else. The only big Nina. I don't change anything. She really started to swallow, you guys. <laughs> it's the it's big Nina Craze, okay? So make sure y'all tune in. If you just type in Nina Craze, y'all gonna find me everywhere on every platform. Um, again, thank you. I appreciate you. Let's take one more shot. But, uh, you know, actually, we're not gonna take another shot because I'm gonna be drunk for the next guest. <laughs> <laughs> thank y'all so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Whole Fashions. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend and tell their homegirl, tell their boyfriend, tell their mama, tell their baby daddy. That a brand new episode of Hope Fashions just dropped with my girl Nina. See y'all next time. <laughs>